Vlad, do you know how many rushing yards you had entering this game, like career rushing yards? Uh, I'm not yeah. sure. Probably not too many, though. <laughs> you had 80, so you got 70 tonight. By the way, Mississippi State's longest run that they gave up this season. How'd that feel? Oh, yeah, it, it was awesome. Um, and to be able to change momentum for my team and, and just contribute. Uh, it, it was a great feeling, and it was a great win. You just, caught a touchdown in the third quarter, too. What made that quarter so good on you, like for you? Um, I mean, I think we were just rolling as an offense. Um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't drive the whole way. I mean, we had a bunch of players make it, make it before that. So Stetson had a great ball, and I just had to catch it and run to the rest. Did you get a celebration in the locker room for clinching the SEC East? Uh, I mean, we're not worried about that. Y'all, y'all know how uh, Coach Smart is and, and how this team is. We're focused on next week, so obviously it's a great success, and, and, and we're looking forward to it. But uh, I mean, we got to take it one week at a time. Did you feel how cold it was out there? Uh, I mean, once you get get rolling, you, you don't really feel it. It's obviously a little cold walking in when you first go out there but once you get moving around get your blood flowing i mean it's just another game Man, how much did y'all uh, talk about grabbing that momentum back after they scored yeah i mean that that's huge uh i mean the big thing now is the middle eight to so the last four four minutes of the second quarter, first four of the third. So to be able to kind of go out and score out there, especially when that, they had that punt return, I feel like it was a big deal. That little inside handoff, we've seen you, you know, on that play several times this yeah. year. How, how enjoyable was that for you to kind of get the opportunity to, to show your skills? Like yeah, anytime you can get the ball in your hand, or the ball in your hand, I mean, it's it's awesome. So yeah, Darnell made a heck of a block. I just I just cut up and, and just ran, and ran for it. <laughs> You know, your story's about being, like, under-recruited and all that, but, but now, like, you know, you're kind of like balance and uh, you know, just uh, Monkey can get the ball in your hands in special ways. I mean, what do you make of kind of how they're using your skill set? I don't know about Bauer. He's a, he's a freak athlete, so. But thank you for the compliment. That's, that's pretty nice right there. But, I mean, yeah, anytime I can make plays for my team, it's, uh, it always feels great. The guy that has been with him in the room every day, what does he mean to you secure is how the 90 end is coming along? That's, that's, that's awesome. Um, that's awesome. I mean, to see him have that success is just a testament to how he works every single day. So, yeah, I mean, he made some great plays. There were huge plays in the game. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's awesome. He does a great job. Every day. What does he bring to y'all's room? Like this, it's cold. You have to throw it up against the defense. That throws some different things. What does he bring to you? I mean, Kyrus is competitive. I mean, he's he's going to throw his nose in there and block. He's going to run routes. He's a leader. And, I mean, it's a guy that we all look up to. So, I mean, yeah, he's just kind of that older guy in the room that can give us advice and also go out and make plays like y'all saw the mountain. Thank you.